All right. Hello there. I don't even know how to start this. We're doing another mock draft. Going to be way quicker. Okay. I'm here again, joined by RotoWire's Henry Weinberg. Links in the description like last time. Henry, how are you doing today? I'm good. Pleasure to be here. Let's do some mocking. <laughs> Let's get into it. Obviously, the first pick being Victor Wembenyama. I just struggled on the scroll. And that's just a, a given. Now, two, who are we going? I'm still on Scoot Henderson all the way. Especially, did you see the report today? They're saying both workouts have happened for the Hornets. And Brandon Miller impressed. But, like, Scoot Henderson was supposedly, like, leaps and bounds more impressive. What do you think? The favorite is still Miller. I think it's smokescreen, like how it was for Paolo last year when it was Jabari Smith the whole time. Scoot Henderson goes. Yes, I entirely agree. I think in the same way that Wemby is a given, Scoot is a given in my eyes, at least how it should be. And I think that Charlotte is wisely trying to see if they front like they want Miller, if someone will sell the farm for a chance to get Scoot. So I I agree that, that they're doing smoke and mirrors a little. We think who, regardless of who gets the third pick, takes Brandon Miller, or you think, oh man, the man that everyone says might have the second highest ceiling in this draft class some are saying so i texted you at four in the morning today you have a ridiculous take saying that i had a crazy take to bring this is your crazy take that ahmed thompson goes third overall i am now considering taylor hendrix at three i can't let you do that i can't let you do what to who the rockets i'm not like the rockets gonna trade up they're gonna trade the farm jalen green and everybody to somebody to i am fine to facilitate I am a fine. Third, three team trade to get the the third pick i am fine with brandon miller going three to whoever wants brandon miller but hendrix is now like like very serious competition in terms of who i think will be the i don't even who i think will be the best player of the two like the only like person like i could see like Taylor Hendricks being drafted at third overall is like the I don't even know if the Rockets I was saying the Rockets trading up from four in a three team trade but like that's what I was suggesting there but I'm going Brandon I mean that's I'd give you four maybe yeah he's going off the board five latest that's I'll die on that hill if need be sources say Henry says Henry says Dude, he's he's really good. I'm we're going for a man. Yeah, I think I've with seen, the with what? the Rockets cast of forwards they have, I I like the Amen fit. I think I saw recently, yeah, this morning on Sam Vecini of the Athletics, most recent most recent mock draft, he had Cam Whitmore going, and I've said. I personally think Cam Whitmore is more of an MA Udoka guy because he wants to win now and his body will allow him to play. I just think that that would be not at all constructive to continuing developing Jabari and Jalen Green, which I still think that's like capital. Will they be there? Will they be there? Why wouldn't they be? Because MA might not want them. Jabari will absolutely certainly be there. I know Jabari definitely will be. Jabari Jaylen, plays defense. Jalen, I think, is better than anything they could get for him. I don't think they would move him. I agree with that take. I've said that before. There's a lot of players who are available, like who might be traded, but they're not going to be trade them because the nobody's trading anyone. So there's like not an upgrade out there, you know. So I agree. I think it's Amen. Like if the Rockets stay, I think it's Amen. But like I. I think Cam Whitmore is a dark horse to go here. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but also, dude, picture Hendrix protecting the rim next to Shangun. So where does Jabari play? That that's uh, that is a problem. They would just be gigantic. <laughs> they, they, yeah. would just, they would just be gigantic. So I like the amend pick for that reason. Like this Hendrix wise, just would not be a, like a fit for me. Pistons might trade beef stew, but. That's also maybe a not. We're hearing conflicting reports. Do they go Jairus Walker, Taylor Hendricks? Do they go Cam Whitmore because they need wing help? Or do they go Asar Thompson? 
Hendrix. I say Hendrix. Oh, please, please express yours first. Whitmore. They need wings. They might trade Boyan. I think that, that Taylor Hendrix is going to be a star. I mean, Jonathan Isaac was going to be a star until his legs gave out on him. God and, and I think Taylor Hendrix might be better. Like, like, you, I think he has more. Do offense. you think Wint Hendrix can play the wing mobile enough offensively? I I know he can guard the perimeter, but can he play the wing in your eyes? Because in my eyes, I I don't think he's he was as laterally quick as Isaac is or was. I uh, you know. Yeah, I I have been encouraged by his game off the dribble. I think there are a lot of like um, tendencies that with proper development, which, you know, I don't know if Detroit can deliver that nearly as well as a say Orlando or Indiana could if he falls to six or seven, which is very possible. But I, I think that there is a lot of upside for him to grow to be an offensive weapon. So who are we going here? Are you fighting? Well, we are the war room. You want, you want Whitmore? I'd go Whitmore right here. I'm just seeing if they're... I'm just seeing if I can get I'm looking at two mock drafts right now to see if I like like I want to see like one like one or two other like takes but one of them agree put like uh, but what do you sorry. think what do you think about the fact that Cade has been turnover prone in his brief NBA career and Jay Nivey was not even like drafted as a plus facilitator and also and Cam Whitmore cannot facilitate at all I'm going Cam Whitmore because the Detroit Pistons James L. Edwards beat writer also put out Cam Whitmore in a tweet the other day or like an article that he ex his sources say he expects Pistons to take Whitmore if he's available, basically. But we don't care about what he would do. What would we do, War Room Partner? I'm already here on Whitmore. I'm just furthering my sentiments right ah. here. Well, I, he's dude. He's 18. Okay, he's 235 pounds. This guy has the the potential. I think honestly, coming out of Villanova, okay, he's going to be fundamentally sound. I know he was inefficient as hell, but he's a shot creator, meaning he was taking tough shots. Okay, he knows how to create space. He knows how to take contest, contested shots. He has the body and the athleticism, okay, to get above the rim and to drive downhill and get to the rim. Honestly. I don't think there's anyone to compare him to like i'm not like i'm not going to do that but i think you know what is jason tatum at like 240 right now 250 he's 69 though i mean Cam's i would like say seven. i would say certainly closer to 240 than 250 but 235 even i don't know i think cam whitmore could follow a similar similar i'm not saying the same player similar develop to like you know, an offensive game to what like Jason Tatum oh. has. Jason Tatum, just so you know, is 6'8", 210, according to ESPN. Dude, no freaking way. Dude, That's I, a lie. I, I, would, I would honestly guess like 215-ish. I'm being serious. Tatum looks huge, though. Tell me I'm wrong, though. I thought Tatum was a thick, like, gear. I don't know. I'm stupid then. But I think he, ha he could be like a like a burly like you know three level score who like could be a mid-range maestro would that help the pistons they need wings and they're still young monte williams would love his ass Dude, do you monte... view kate do view kate as a wing no he's my point okay we're taking who are we taking we need wings we're gonna trade boy on we are going to trade Boyan. Then you want Al Burks to start? Dude, I think Taylor Hendricks is the best player on the board. He is my vote. I would trade down them to a team okay. that would want All right. Hendricks. Okay, viable. I, and I do agree with that, maybe. But, dude, if why would Lindo or Indiana not want him at six or seven? Who's at six right now? Orlando? Orlando. Orlando would take Hendricks right there. Yeah. You want to do that? Yes, sure. If 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 Taylor Hendricks goes top five, I'm gonna buy you a meal and two rounds of drinks in Vegas. I'm gonna send you the scouting video that I made 
this is still private information, but you're going to see it, and you might be surprised by what you see. Seven. Azar. Or are you going Jairus? I think Azar. Agreed. This is Anthony Black. Yes. Jairus Walker? No. Buffkin. (laughs) You think so? (laughs) Yeah, I do. I'm a Jairus skeptic. I think you, we, we can get a guard in the back. We got another pick at 16. You tell, and I think they're more of Will Hardy. He's a Spurs guy. Okay. Guess what Spurs guys like? Kassan's going to be there at, at 16, I think. I have no interest in putting Jairus Walker next to Laurie Markin and, and Walker Kessler. Okay. Then we get Grady Dick. They just had success. You know, I mean, he didn't have like o- Ochai was, you know, good at the end of the season. He was had like picked up at the end of the year. But Grady Dick, look at what Christian Brown did. I'm not saying they're the same player, but Grady Dick is a rebounding three point shooting wing. I think his offensive game, shooting wise, could be very similar to Kevin Herter in the NBA. But he's a way better rebounder, and he's a bit he's at more athletic than people give him credit. Yes, he's not the quick, most laterally or have the best agility. But he grabs rebounds. He's easily a guy I could see average 14, six rebounds, one, you know, two or three assists, and being at least, you know, a somewhat plus defender where he doesn't get cooked. And he's a shooting guard. That's what people that realize he's I think and he measured in at what six eight, six nine, two. He's like a six yeah. eight, six nine shooting guard. But but he, he will guard threes, wouldn't you say? No, he could guard some twos. He's not gonna guard like for example, I'm trying to Donovan think of, Mitchell. Yeah. Perfect example. Yeah. He would not guard Donovan Mitchell because on that first first step, I mean he and he I think he had a neutral wingspan. I think his wingspan was the same length as his height or whatever. But I mean, he could impress us and be like Denny Avdia where he can guard like guys like that on the perimeter. It's all about his hips, you know. If he can move his hips quick enough. But would you be opposed, just like as a Utah draft theory question, to taking two guards at nine and at sixteen? Well, if we take Dick, he's a swing man, so he's not. Agreed. He's so. I think Grady just fits their kind of thing. Because imagine us uh, the lineup of like Kessler, Lowry, Grady. Then you got two other. You already got right there, two basically seven footers, and then. Theoretically, Ochai, Agbaji, and Sexton. Yeah. And Horn Tucker. Yeah. And right there, if you run the Horn Tucker one, you had Horn Tucker 6'4 with like a 6'11 wingspan. You got a 6'5 six, uh, six and with like a 6'9 wingspan Ochai. You play small forward Dick. Or if you feel like Ochai, because he's thicker than Dick to play small forward, you know, you just have them as your wings. Lowry at power. Walker there. That's a pretty big I, I fuck with that, you know. I, I'm fine with with, <laughs> with the, the dick. dick with the dick fit here in Utah. <laughs> Dude, I just think that Buffkin is better. So but we can mail it in. I'm fine with the fit. I would take right here Buffkin. For we're 10? Yeah, because they don't like imagine Buffkin and Jaden Hardy as the unit off the bench for Kyrie and Luca. Dude, so I, as a Jairus Walker hater, think that this is a good spot for Jairus. Okay, I agree with you. I just was gonna give you Kobe right there. Yeah, this no, is I, I think this is a good Jairus destination. That was perfect, and he can play now for them. Yeah. Okay, Dude, don't, eleven. Don't give me things. We're in the fucking war room. We got to be at war. I know, but like I was. I was bought into the Kobe idea, so I was more lenient if you were going to go with me on the Kobe thing. If that was because I thought I was going ahead thinking that that's what you were going to think. Okay. Okay. Don't don't bitch at me, man. Bro, you don't know me like that. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. Right here, though, Orlando. This is where it gets tough. Do we go a shooter? Buffkin. <laughs> you think so? You think we're going to overload? I think we go Jet Howard. Ew. I'm just kidding. I would not. I, <laughs> yeah, bro. I, I was just doing that because what? No, go for it. No, you go for it. I was gonna say, I this is a tough spot for me because I I love Buffkin. I really like 
Huchifino. I like Keontae George. I think Orlando should get a guard. Um, Buffkin, I think, is my guy, though. They said also they have too many picks in a re- re- recent report. Yeah. I'm just yeah, thinking... This, this is very tradable. This is a very tradable pick. I just... Do you think they go Buffkin, who's more of a lead guard? I mean, he can play both, I think. Or do you think they go more combo guard? Because they already have three point guards, and they're looking probably to trade Cole. I think that's why maybe like a Nick Smith or a Jordan. Well, do Martin. you do you? We both like Markel Fultz. True, we both I are fucking Markel. love Markel Fultz. He's my point guard. Me and too. I'm a Magic do you, fan. Do you worry like? durability wise like maybe he just like doesn't that's have why it. i think we're gonna keep jalen suggs and they're gonna bank on him developing because he can play defense at least and pass as of right now what do you think i think that's why we go a combo guard or like do they put nick smith really as a point like i think nick smith or like Keontae or jordan hawkins like I kind of fuck with the idea of Nick Smith because he's big enough to play like if they wanted to. But I also score. want somebody who can push tempo. And I think that Buffkin is the best of these guards that can help us push tempo. That's very true. You know what? And Orlando would be the ones to surprise pick us. Like if I just wanted to see. Mm, they put him out of 6 7 wingspan. 6 4 mm-hmm. the 6 7. Gets good size. It is, yeah. I mean, we talked about it at the combine. He was a full six, six force. They gave him six four and a quarter. Yeah, I do think that this pick could very well be on the block. Orlando might just want to roll. I'm going Buffkin though. I think right now, personally, I think out of all these guards, I think Buffkin is the most durable and potentially has that. Like no, like, and I consider Nick Smith a shooting guard so don't even like he's not there uh you know what i mean he's on the screen like out of jalen hood shafino kasan and buffkin like i think he's the the highest ceiling lead guard right here and mm-hmm. he's and i think hood shafino i think can play one through three kasan can play one through two but like kobe's like could be like really good at either yeah i agree he's a combo guard to me for sure in a weird way he could kind of be like a, a bigger DeJounte Murray in a weird way. Well, Deon, De, De, Deontay is bigger than he is. I thought DeJounte is 6'4 or 6'3. Nah, I think he's like 6'6. Six, 6'4. Six. Six, wow. Yeah, so same size. So maybe I kind of see that DeJounte, the more I look, like he could be developed into a similar player. And DeJounte was supposed to be a lottery pick, but like, concerns background who do we go here with the thunder they i think nick smith fits here right here i would take nick smith because you can play the one and the two for them and they you know a guy to relieve giddy or shea whenever they come off the floor unless you think they need a shooter or like you you more bought into keontae george because he's the better defender and i think he's very similar to eric gordon there's but nick smith's been compared to jamal murray which i do buy into so I'm actually, Nick Smith is one of the few people that I have not done a deep dive on. If you like the Nick Smith fit, I'm willing to defer here. If you think he's talented. And I, I think he, he, the knee's a concern, but like, I real like, it's not too much of a concern, but this is a guy who was a consensus top five recruit. He is a phenomenal athlete. He's definitely a guy who has a very similar game. At the very least, he's going to be a career six man who can easily put 15 points up a game dish out five assists all right that's the floor okay it's all about him being able to like that knee not actually being an issue which i don't think it was i think it was just a you know him just wanting to play college ball and just not taking the year off because he didn't want to hurt his stock did he hit threes does he have a track record of of yes yes he's a he's going to be a three level scorer like again the ceiling is and i agree with it he's a very jamal murray-esque player like he's that jamal murray combo guard where you could jamal murray's the type of guy he could be the starting point guard or if you got like a guy like chris paul that he could play next to chris paul as the as the shooting guard i am intrigued by that but they also have shea who is like a super this is 
this is for right now as the six man nick smith will be the six man for four years four years down the road you figure it out okay. you get what i'm saying like uh, yeah. yeah i would be interested in the defense of Keontae here and i think so, so nick smith right here let's see his measurements real quick they put it i thought it was right here should have been right here did not participate in the pre-draft combine hmm but this is what he averaged what i guess this is what, he shot 33 percent from three his his driving wasn't great but he played all year with a knee injury yeah i've wow. seen him like stop and start he has he has some like some wiggle that's pretty rare i think he, in the shot creation off this guy i'm i think we take him right here raptors you think shooter or jalen hood shifino in our previous mock we had uh kassan wallace going here yeah but i don't think he's the the best potential and like I, I don't know and they're not rebuilding but if they're not rebuilding i think they go out and get a vet point guard so i think that's why they go like jordan hawkins or if they're still obsessed with size they go fucking jet howard but the question is they might have to kind of rebuild like um they might have to rebuild just due to lack of better options if fred and gary trent both leave well they're already expected to re uh they want to retool they came out and said the raptors they're not rebuilding Trent and Fred are, are leaving. They're not expected to come back then. They're going right. to... But we them. we should be the version of the Raptors that are going to try to trade Pascal Siakam at the deadline. Uh, that, But, like, I still think, like, if I would... I, I would give, what, Malachi Flynn and Delano Banton are there. Maybe get a vet or, like, bring in a guy's a reclamation project. Like maybe if you really want to bring it, we'll bring in D'Angelo Russell. Why? To be like the seventh seed in the East? The fifth seed in the East, maybe? I don't, like, also, that's a lie. You know who we, we would trade for, like, Davion Mitchell, okay? and for uh, Or not Davion Mitchell, my apology. Tyus Jones, okay? Because <laughs> Darko Ryakovich came from the Grizzlies. He's going to trade for Tyus Jones. We're going to trade for Tyus Jones to be our starting point guard. Okay. And then we'll, we'll need a, like a combo guard or like a three point shooter to compliment Scotty Barnes and like the team. This is a tough spot for Toronto. Cause they said, regardless, they're retooling around Scotty. So I want a player that plays and can play next to Scotty. I Me need too. someone who doesn't want the ball in his hand. That's why I think it's either Hawkins or Jet. Are we still obsessed with size? No. Sigh. We are. We are not at all. The the Ciro Henry Raptors are abandoning Project 69. Dude, what if they do take Jet Howard? They're just they're not done. They're not done with Vision 69. A Masai Ujiri masterclass. Jordan Hawkins. I think this is where we go. You know, this would be a good infrastructure for him. Yeah. You know, I, I like that, actually. All right. We are the Pelicans. I think Keontae George right here. Yep. Agreed. For any Pelicans fans that might be watching this, in my latest mock on rotowire.com. Oh, what? What are you I say? talked about how the Nuggets, like, surrounded Jokic, who is a subpar rim protector, with dudes who will fight through screens and like be burly defenders. And I think Keontae fits that mold for a team that also really struggles to protect the rim. So that's a good point. That's a good point. That's a great point. The Hawks are also rumored to trade John Collins in the 15th pick for Davis Bertons in the 10th pick. So we took a 10. I would like that trade for the Wizards a lot. That's not the Wizards, the Mavericks. Oh. Oh, I would like that trade for the Mavericks a lot. Yeah, they, it'd work out great. Right here, though, I think they would be a team that would go for Kassam Wallace. Or do you think, are we still thinking Cool Bali's flown up the boards? Is Cool Bali right here? Are we making, is Cool Bali taking the jump? Cool Bali could be the guy. You know, Trey Young could make him look really good. 
And that's what I'm thinking. And it, and Quinn Snyder likes to play out in space. So yeah, I, let's let's do it actually. Cool Bali. Doesn't Although make it in the this lottery. this this pains me as a Jalen Hood Shafino lover. Okay, so who are the the Jazz taking? Kassan or Jalen? They, like they took they, who did they take at nine? Dick. They took Dick. Let's Hmm. Yeah, Dick? let's go with Kassan. Jeez. Kassan Wallace, Walker, Kessler, pick and rolls will not only be efficient, but that is a dead. Lakers take JHS. Yes, sir. They're lucky too. Miami. Hmm. Jet? He said who, Jet? Yeah, they need three-point shooting. And they like the size. Hmm. But maybe we should have thought harder about that because they have Caleb Martin signed, but they could lose Vincent or Struess. That's what I'm saying. And either way, they need more shooting and loves leaving. They'll, they love it. 6'8", swingman. And he'll learn how to play defense with the fucking heat. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm- dude. And guess, guess who's his dad? Jawan, and guess who Jawan played for at the end, last few seasons of his career? Eric Spolstra. Is that so, true? Yeah. Miami oh, shit. Wow. We just so right there. Jawan, uh, Jaw- the, the Jawan Miami connection. Yeah. All right. Book it. Next. I fuck that just convinced me if Jed Howard's there, the Heat are taking him. That's a fucking fact now. He'll be there. I completely unless, unless forgot. The won, he was I a guess. player's coach for his like last two or three seasons with the Heat. That's how like he started coaching. So the who's the I think the most NBA ready? Do you think they take Lively? He's expected to go top twenty five. He has a green room invite. This would be. Do we team. like do we like our odds of resigning Draymond? Are we running it back? They're resigning Draymond, but they're gonna use Derek Lively like. Andrew Bogut back in the day, but like no. off the bench. I don't I don't want lively, I don't think. This just kind of seems like they will be the team to do it. He's expected to go top 25. Scroll a little for me. Noah Clownley, James Nanji. I think they go NBA ready guy. Chris Murray, Colby, Pod, OMS. Right. Nah. We we scrolled too far. Oh man, they're not going project. How much of a project do you consider Derek Whitehead? Dude, he they're not. They can't take an injured guy. They're not doing the whole injury thing. They're trying he's to maximize. Expected, the- he's expected to be healthy though. Fuck that bullshit. We're not taking. We're not taking that chance. Ray Rupert fought for his minutes. <laughs> no. Ah, oh, boy. This is tough for Golden State. I think Derek Lively, low-key. They need the shot blocking. It's a platoon with Looney, basically? With Looney, Green, and Lively. Lively's off the bench, 15, 20 max. And this is f- for life after Green like in a few years down the road and lively can come in and just protect the rim right now pick and rolls with Steph. they go back to the center by committee back in the day they had uh what is it fest fet fetus fetus and yeah fest, fest this is easy fest this is easy and then they had a uh, kavan and they had fucking damian jones and uh what was the other guys james michael mcadoo Oh they, god, there, there was briefly Josh Bell or not Josh yeah, Bell. Yeah, uh Jordan Bell, he won a fucking okay. championship. Say his name correctly with Patrick McCaw, baby. Back hey. to back Patrick McCaw. <laughs> fun fact, fun fact about Josh Bell, Cleveland Indians Jordan first Bell. Base. Jordan oh Josh oh, Bell. Josh <laughs> Bell. He's got a negative launch angle this season. <laughs> He's hitting the ball into the ground. I think it's there lively. I've talked myself into this. All right, do it. I don't have a better option. I would, dude, I think Derek Whitehead is going to be good. Rockets, Brees. Hmm. They've, everyone says it's Brees. And he just seems like M.A. Udoka would look at him and be like, you're going to be, he's like, you don't see it right now, but you're Grant Williams. 
So Amen is going to be our point guard, along with Jalen, along with Shengun. Those are our playmakers. And we got Reese is going to be like your glue guy who can put up like 14 points a night, like a la. It's got to be someone. Who, it's got to be someone who plays some defense. That's what I was saying. I feel like Brees, like dude, Brees is six five. I mean, not six five. He's put up here six six two thirty five, six six two thirty five. Dude, you know, fucking imagine Deshaun Tate Brees out there next to Jabari Smith, Alper, and Shagoon. Dude, Luke would let you know humbly, respectfully, that Bryce Sensba cannot play defense. Brees, you talking about Brees? Yeah. Summer Breeze cannot defend, <laughs> I don't think. Oh, I know he can't defend. We've talked about this. But M.A. Udoka would chew his ass out into playing some defense. Hmm. His I offensive think- game what? is there. I don't think he's a 20-point-per-game scorer, but what did Grant Williams put up like a, a last year before this season? All right. Okay. But what would you think about the lineup? Or this year put up eight. Of a men Thompson... Jalen Green, Leonard Miller, Jabari Smith, and Alperin. They're trying to win right now. You literally. Why, said, bro? Dude, fuck what they're doing. What would we do? Win now. I want Why? Harden. Why? What? Get... How? We're just not. That's just not going to happen. Okay, so Harden's not coming. Harden's not coming. I want. I want Rain Rupert. Dude, I want. I am a Leonard Miller hater. I want Leonard. Okay, Miller. so so we're approaching this that Harden's not coming. Yes. Okay. Actually, I take the replay ahead. Hmm. You can play shooting guard or small forward for me. Yeah, he could. But do we need rim protection somewhere on this roster? We have Jabari and Alperin Shagoon. And then do we have another pick in this draft? We have the... Check that. Check that. No, this is our last pick. We do need rim protection. Then I take Noah Cloudly. Or we could just sign rim protection. And take Dariq. Yeah, you know, I'm okay with that. I'd do that. All right, well, given that we might suck, let's go best player. Like, best, the highest upside. Let's swing on Dariq. Highest upside would be either Ray and Leonard or Dariq. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. All right. We are the Nets. And they're, again, I think Colby Jones and somebody else goes here, like, to help him out. I think Maxwell Lewis. I think that we did that last time. I just don't know. Yeah. Some people are saying Ben Shepard's a first round pick. This um, could be a breeze destination for me with Claxton behind him also. I like that. I'm going with that. And then with and they're they're gonna lose not lose, but they trade Royce O'Neal and Dorian. I think No, you go Colby some, Jones still. They need it, they could use a guard. They would love that. And he's yeah. he's Josh Hart. Uh, we're Portland right here. Do you want James Nanji to be the Nurkic or Clowney be the Nurkic? Or do we go Pod? I think Pod could be a guy because they're trying to win now and they need players to help them win now. He's Dante DiVincenzo on steroids. Dude, Portland is almost impossible to mock given that we don't know what they'll have for three. Do you think Dame? Dame where will Dame be next year? Dame's going to be in Portland. They're going to win now. And they might this they'll trade the third, but they'll keep this pick. We want a win now guy. We traded for Bradley Beal. <laughs> oh God. We gave up that would Nur- be that would we, be the most expensive duo of all time to, if somehow if Dame and Beal. No, won. no, the most expensive would be the trio of because you saw financially the Heat can get Butler, Dame, and Beal under contract. They would just have to trade everybody on their roster and let and renounce all rights everybody but then they would bring in jamal kane orlando robinson marcus gare jamari bouye gary Haywood highsmith dude you know they would bring basically the whole sioux falls sky force would just be promoted you donis haslam would have one more year in him one more year he would be set in the sixth man though he'd earned those minutes and you're at 44 but okay so it'll be dame beal grant Okay, we traded Simons and Nurkic. We bring back Thibault and Cam Reddish. We probably have to trade Naz Little. Fuck Justice Winslow. We maybe trade Keon Johnson and Drew Eubanks and Trenton Watford. Not Drew Eubanks. Keon Johnson, Trenton Watford. 
in the in Jabari Walker to you know be able to afford Bradley Beal, and we bring back Drew Eubanks, and we keep Kevin Knox. Who do we who do we go? Do we go to center because we don't have Nurkic anymore? I'm open to I'm willing to defer between Clowney and Miller, but I think that. I'm going to clown I think a potential Nurkic replacement would be good. You're not. What is, that not contract, what is that contract like? Can you pull that up? Nurkic is us uh, 18 million, 16 this year. For, for another two years after this year? I believe so, yes. Jeez. Um, no, three years left. Yeah. They'll probably have to three team trade him. I go, Nanji just played in Barcelona for the last few years. Dude, but he is utterly useless except for, like, being Usman Garuba. Yeah, you don't, you really think he's that bad? He's just a rim-running center. He's a lob threat, rim-running, set your screens, drop coverage big, who has the potential to step out and be on the perimeter. And also, if fucking Usman Garuba did shit his pants all the time and stepped out on the perimeter... Okay, <laughs> like I actually was able to take shots, dude. I was so high in Garuba. I thought he should have been a top five pick. But I still like, think he guards Giannis really well. You top five, <laughs> dude. I thought he was like the second coming of Serge Ibaka, <laughs> who could go out on the wing, like who was bigger. Like, dude, I was so high on who was my Garuba. I thought he was top ten at least, maybe top five, being a bit ostentatious, but like, dude. Usman Garuba, like, I might have been willing to suck his dick, at, like, figuratively. Like, that's how much in love with him. He was a lottery pick lock for me. Right. Stop the pod. Um, <laughs> stop the stream. Um, bro, do you follow Edomar on Twitter? Who's up? He's just some, like, Rockets expert. He, like, detested Steven Silas for, like, playing Garuba, like, weirdly throughout the season last year. It was, like, really comical just to, like, keep up with. What would he do? He would just feel like he just wouldn't understand why Garuba would like, like play well for a short like span of minutes, then like go to the bench for the rest of the game, and like he was the primary on like Giannis and other people that like you know just difficult matchups and would hold his own. You know, Eve Udoka is gonna love Garuba. He's gonna yeah, walk he in. You know, Eve Udoka is gonna walk in and beat Garuba, and then first practice he's gonna look at Garuba. He's like, "You're a starter," and Garuba's gonna be like, "What do you mean? I've never started before." He's like. You're the only fuck who plays defense here, and we like. That's our that's our rim protection. Yeah, he's gonna. We're gonna watch. This is gonna be the starting lineup, boys, next year. Garuba, Jay Sean Tate, I guess Jabari Smith, Kevin Porter Jr. <laughs> no, no, who's their best guard defenders? Ty Ty Washington. Ty no, Ty Washington. Not him. Actually, no, it's definitely not him. Jeez, dude, there aren't any. He's going to go out and get Grant Williams, throw him at shooting guard, and then he's going to go out and bring in, like, fucking Brad Wanamaker from, like, wherever the fuck Brad Wanamaker is. <laughs> he's going to tell right. all the offensive guys. Okay, we're going to go, I think, Clownly. <sighs> okay. Yeah. Where's okay. The- we're doing the Chris Murray, Keegan Murray. They're going to suck his dick. Unfortunately. Okay, we need the Dil- pod. Dylan Brooks replacement. Come Dude, on. he is not. He is not Dylan Brooks replacement. What do you mean? He cannot play defense like that. Dude, but it's not in. You are white. Deal with it. True. But first off, I want to say is this is a guy. I'm not going to say you're going to be like, he's like Dante DiVincenzo on steroids. Okay. I like Pod. I love Pod. I'm not saying he's Dylan Brooks replacement and like, He's just going to, like, be one of the guys who'll compete to fill those minutes with, like, Zaire Williams, John Conchar, and stuff. We do need somebody who can fill the job void for the first, whatever, 
30 games this season. He's also a guy that I think, honestly, if he fills into his frame, could play one through three. And I honestly think more is just, he's a guy who could be told, hey, buddy, like we know you, you're, you're, you can handle the ball, but you're a secondary playmaker. So we kind of wanted you to be a swing man. Because he's like six okay. five. All right. You know what let's I mean? Do, let's do pop. I'm fine with that. This Memphis team, I think, is is going to struggle a little this year. I do, too. This is Leonard Miller. No. Ran? No, because we already have a SAR. Yeah, so Leonard would be our power forward. A SAR's our wing. Dude, but I just think he's an idiot. Okay, Rick Carlisle likes those types of guys. He'll listen to him. I, we need a power it's forward. Down. We need a... Huh? Scroll down briefly. You want you want OMS? You want Max? Oh, bro. I either want. Is Gigi not even a first round pick anymore? No. Um, dude, give me Max Lewis. I think. I'd go. I'd go. So we get two wings. Yeah, he has something special about him to me. Hit the Hornets. way he like rides, the way he gallops down the court. I like. Hornets. I think we go Ran. He's like no. a small forward. No. What do you mean? Actually, we're bringing back PJ and Miles. So I don't. Mm. We need guards, though, but there's no guards. I wouldn't. You think that's Ben Shepard? So we have Scoot and we have Lamelo, and we have Miles Bridges and PJ and Mark Williams, essentially. Yeah. Ben Shepard. What do you think about this as an Andre Jackson destination? Too early. Play the three, do some extra playmaking. I honestly think they take Leonard Miller because they're obsessed with size and Kai Jones and JT Thor were busts. And then you have Leonard Miller sit behind PJ Washington. Hmm. Because he could be a He combo. would be positionally interesting. Because he'll either develop into a combo forward or into a tweener, big, like small ball five power forward or he'll be a power forward small forward and he and pj could play next to each other yeah or him and miles well he and pj could be four or five i don't know if he and miles could be four or five maybe they no could. no like miles like three i mean two pj like or i mean not pj four leonard five miles three or you could go big uh mark williams leonard PJ, Miles, Lamelo, Lamelo, Scoop. It's going to take PJ, he, Leonard. We, he would have I like this fit. They like the size. They've shown if it. He, if he can lock in defensively, I'm interested. Steve Clifford, no nonsense guy. Okay. Sure. Lamelo's not the brightest tool in the shed, and look what the Hornets were able to do with him. The Jazz, Rain Rupert. And yeah. eh, now, or do we want to back up big? Uh, we still have Kelly Olynyk under contract. I think we're cool. We're gonna trade him, dude. Why? Because we don't. We we want. We can get picks. But he's so good. Yeah, that's why someone will give us an unprotected first round pick for him. <laughs> Probably not. Probably like a like a lottery protected, but like they could probably get a first round pick in a deal for Kelly Olynyk package with like I don't even fucking know. I don't we even could know go repair here. They could use a wing defender. They just got Dick though. Yeah, but we're skeptical of his defense. Andre Jackson. No, we're going to Olivier Max and his prosper. We Dude. need a power forward. We need a Dude. fucking power forward. We need a power forward. You didn't want Leonard Miller there. We need a guy who can go next to fucking Miles Bridges. We're you mean Miles Turner? I mean, yeah, Miles Turner. Sorry, but, I was stuck up. Dude, Omax should Omax should not be in this draft. He should have gone back to Marquette for sure. Why? You you mad about that? Yeah, because he has an unproven shot. And like it's not as if he like was clamping people at Marquette. I really think they go power forward or a big here. 
Dude, I would rather trot out Jordan Nwara for every single mid. I'd have to play Omax on that team. I love Jordan Nwara. Me too. Jordan Nwara is a fucking beast. Don't... And they got him for nothing. They did get him for fucking nothing. And he's 6'8 and he cans threes. We don't need Omax. I'm thinking we go. I'm thinking we go fucking Nanji. We need a fucking Miles Turner backup. Goga's gone. Oh, we do need a Miles Turner backup. Dude, I don't want Najee. I like Najee. Najee can <laughs> protect the rim. Dude, imagine Tyrese Halliburton getting a fucking brick wall. And then That's fucking... what I'm thinking about right now, actually. Imagine. Well, and he's that... athletic enough to run the fast break with him with Benedict Matherin. Ben Matherin is not a good transition player, I don't think. I'm not. Well. Ben McMatherin's not a good transition player with the ball in his hand, but like if Tyrese is running up the court with the ball and Ben McMatherin's running down the court, he can fill in the fucking passing lanes. Is what what other saying. what other centers are on the board here? You want fucking Colin Castle then? No, I just was gonna see if we could stash someone at fifty-five. And uh, ooh, Sonogo, Benyako, Oscar Shigwe. Are we gonna be the surprise Tristan Vukovic? No. Unfortunately, unfortunately not, brother. I think we go Nanji. As much as you hate him, we just need him 15 minutes a night. 18, maybe. I do hate Jalen Smith more. Dude, well, why can't we just sign a center? I'm not, no, we're not. We should not draft We, him. because, think about this. All the good centers are not going to, backup centers are not going to want to come to Indiana fucking Pacers. Dude, but we have a sore Thompson who also might not be able to shoot. We, I guess he doesn't. Najee's our center, bro. All right, fine. We can take Najee. And we're probably gonna trade Jalen Smith. I love yeah. Jalen Smith. Bro, I, I thought he was gonna turn it around. He's so, <laughs> <laughs> he, he, dude. He showed he could. He was he was more of a tease than Josh Jackson was. Yeah, I guess that's true. Ben Shepard's been projected to the Clippers. Hmm. I see Hami going here. I do not. You don't think Scroll they want? Scroll a little. I think Sasser. So they're going to reset Russ, though, you think? For $3.8 million, they came out and said. Did they? Yeah, they said they wanted to take a hometown discount. We could use the shooting then. Who who are other point guards? Theoretically, Eric Gordon. If we don't trade him, um, how about Terrence Mann and Jason Preston and Bones Highland? All of them. I kind of like, like the Sasser pick. So do I. What do you think about Amari Bailey? That's too early. Why? It's wet. He'll go because they need a win now. Sasser's a win now guy. This is who we're taking. Uh, let's run through this second round real quick. Pistons, they're gonna go a wing guy right here, I think, or a guard. What do you or a center? What do you think right here, Andre Jackson? Yeah. Some extra playmaking maybe. Right here, we're going Omax. We need a power for it at this point. Or you want to go GG? No. I'm out on GG. Um, do you want a backup point? But dude, what are we going to do with... with eh. They're probably going to trade Chris Duarte. And pro like, no, we got Nemhard. We don't need a backup point. Uh, I think... Or Hami Haquez or Omax. Or Gigi Jackson. Hawkins. Man, we drafted so... We drafted, dude... This Pacers draft sucks for them. We drafted zero proven shooters. 
<laughs> we drafted zero shooting. Okay. Spurs. You just refuse to give up a power forward besides Audrey Jackson. All right, Spurs right here. I think they pair up Gigi Jackson here. They would like that. Or Tristan Vukovic. Or Dude, Ben the, if, if anybody's going to teach him how to shoot, it's going to be the Spurs. Let's gamble on Gigi. I think Ben Shepard goes here. A little swing man. Dude, I, I don't like him. Well, we he have can, a, we have a pick and two picks. You can choose the next pick. All right. All right. All right. Boston. Oh, Max. Yeah. This is, yeah. That just makes sense. They missed out on Andre Jackson. Omax looks more like a glue guy to me. Damn, this magic draft is sick. Hendricks and Buffkin. I think we go a wing here. Jalen Wilson. Bro, give me. Or Kobe Brown. Seth Lundy. Bobby. Um, oh, dude, we missed out on the Pistons taking Imani Bates. I wish I could do over the Pistons. They would take the hometown boy. They, I think the match is taking Monty Bates here. They like that 6 9. No. Ooh, actually, no. Yes. I kind of like that, but. I'm saying we do it. I was going to say. Um, um, shit, scroll up just a second. Sorry, I'm like, my brain is failing me. Just so I can, like, have peace of mind. Oh, fuck. <laughs> you clear it? No. Ah, right, here we are. We are on the magic. Yeah. I was going to say that this could be an Amari. Oh, I was going to say this could be an Amari Bailey spot just because I think he's good. We took Buffkin, though. So? Best player available. I don't think he's the best player available. I also don't think we're... He, like, right now, we're a team trying to make the playoffs. Okay. So I think we go a win now guy. And I think Kobe Brown, Keontae Johnson. I kind of fuck with Keontae Johnson right here. No, way too low of a ceiling. Or if you want to do a project, Imani Bates, if we're continuing like the match. Another just ISO score, though? We already have that. I was going to say we try to make him like Cam Johnson. Hmm. Just tell him you to know, stay. You know, I'm okay with him. Let's do Imani. Sure. I think we just tell him, hey, be a spot-up shooter. We don't need anything more from you. Just stand at the top of the arc, maybe run around, get yourself open, just spot up and shoot, bro. Nuggets take Jalen Wilson. They had success with Christian Brown. They do. They do. They might lose, lose Jeff Green, okay, or Bruce Brown. Jalen Wilson helps them plug a hole here. Hmm. Scroll to the top. Yeah. I don't know. Unless you see Tukwabi and Smith, and then they take Jalen at 40. I think Tukwabi and Smith is here. They they don't want to miss him. Bones Highland replacement. Yeah, they could use that shooting during the season. And then they have pick 40, and they take Wilson there. Kings here. I think they want some shooting, and you know who they like? They like foreign guys, Mook. Hmm, but will he like offer us any rim protection once the he'll take six? he'll no he'll be Trey Trey Lyles is a free agent he'll be the Trey Lyles replacement. Jeez, I don't like that at all. Do we really trust the shot that much? Well, it, like we assume Keegan Murray will like be playing most of the small forward or power forward minutes, and then the you know Harrison Barnes is was the starting power forward, so he might not come back. They'll get a starting power forward. I'm saying, you tell me 12 minutes a night, you Tristan Bukovic, power forward. You just tell him to stretch the floor. And, you know, I think it's just like, we have another second round pick. I just think he's the best guy here available, potential wise. And Mike Brown's a defensive coach who loves foreign players. And if anything, we can stash him. If he's not ready. Tell him to beef up. We have another pick in like 14. I just don't in like not 14 and like 
16 picks. I just don't know if he'll be there. If you like the Vooch fit in Sacramento, I'll defer since you're knowledgeable on his game. Yeah, and I think Sabonis, dude, imagine Sabonis just there and throwing him fucking corner threes and Vooch just rebounding. I kind of fuck with that idea. All right. All right, right here. I think we go. Mm, I think we go. There's not really a big left. I think Kobe Brown right here, like Muhammad Guy or Gay. Unless you have somebody else you like. Jordan Miller, maybe. But if, like, nah. Too high, I think. Sonogo. Who are our guards? Lamelo, Scoot. Who's our third guard? Terry. Oh shit. Terry. Yeah. Uh, and then we also have James Book Knight. I think we go right here, like Sonogo, to back up Mark. No. I if I if we got Leonard, I, he's playing some five minutes for me, and we got Mark, and I'm kind of interested in resigning Nick Richards so we can get him cheaply. Richards already resigned. Really? Yeah, to a three-year deal. Nice. So maybe we don't get enough. I fucking love Richards. Yeah, he's good. Um, Kobe Brown? I'm not a huge fan of his. Keontae Johnson? He's a swing man. We don't, or we already got one swing man. Do we want like a Julian Phillips? Or like a Julian Strother? Stretch the floor. He's like, would be our best yes, shooter. I do. I do want Julian Strother. Nice. Nuggets take Jalen Wilson here. They had success with Christian Brown. This just makes sense, organizational. Sure. Twenty and eight, dude. He's gonna help him if Jeff Green or Jalen uh, or Bruce Brown leave. All right. Okay, forty-one. It's the. This was where you got. Dude, what the shit? They're, what are they gonna? They're gonna have to trade some of these. Things and deals. They're gonna probably sell these. Deron Holmes. Develop behind Nick Richards, and or if they trade Nick Richards, no, I but Dron Holmes, Dron Holmes went back to Dayton. No way, I didn't see that one. Yeah, he's 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 out of this draft. Did Broom too? Yes. Do we get like Shweve? Did Roku Perkinson stay? Did that be so geek? I don't think. I think almost all the European dudes left. Yeah, except like Malcolm Casalon. Um. Oh, dude. What about, Jay, what about Jalen Clark? Oh, give him some time to recover. I like that. Yeah. I fuck with that. Let's do that. All right, forty second. Okay. Hmm. I say Amari Bailey. The Wizards. Yeah. Yeah. The other thing I was gonna say is we could pair Anthony Black with Jordan Walsh. Have some Arkansas chemistry, but I like Amari. Portland. Kobe Brown. This, dude, well, this could, what? This could be a Walsh destination, especially if we're losing this here little. We're we kept Dame and we're winning. Yeah, Jordan Walsh is like a good defender and high IQ player. Kobe Brown's like fucking Draymond Green potentially. Okay. Like this guy's <laughs> like, I oh, Dr Good point. <laughs> huh? That's a good point. Not that he actually is going to be Draymond Green. He's just a glue guy who can win now, you know? Man. You don't like Kobe? I just think that, you know, like, you're too giddy to win with a lot of these franchises. Well, you think I'm... Dude, there's so... The league's wide open. Everybody's trying to win right now. Yeah, but if you're... If you don't enter the season thinking you're, like, a top eight team in the league, then, like, you're not going to get there. Maybe I'm a piece or two away. Continuity. All right. Next, you, you don't like continuity, Spurs. Yeah, I also I don't think Jordan Walsh gets drafted. I fucking hate him. I don't actually. I like the guy, but the problem is, his he was supposed to be a three point shooter. Where's that three point shot? Um, CD. Yep, get a Frenchman. Yeah, I like it a lot. Julian Phillips. No. Tracy. No. <laughs> Keontae, Seth Lundy. Gosh. Jordan Miller. Dude, 
Ah, man, they need somebody who could potentially be a difference maker. I just don't know who it is. There's, we're in the fucking second round, man. We need a big, a backup <laughs> point guard or a wing. You're over here acting like we're going to find Nikola Jokic in the fucking second round right now. Ooh, 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 ooh. Let's get a potential actual uh, Dylan Brooks replacement. You have to pick one of these people. I want either Jordan Walsh or I want Ricky Council. Why both? Dude, they don't play defense either. One's an inefficient. What? Jordan Walsh is a defender. He is, but like. Ricky Council is tough. I'm going Jordan Walsh. He's a defender, but I hated that pick. Uh, Mo, Mo Gay, Mo Gay could maybe make sense. I think Keontae Johnson right here. They just, they want some three and D. Dude, like, did Mo Gay go back to school, or is he in this draft? I think so. You, you think he did go back to school? I I think he might have. Dude, but Keontae's so small. Dude, he's 6'5". That's pretty small. What do you mean for a shooting guard small forward? That's for like three, average. Bro, look at him move. He's Boy, so a... Neil, Jay Crowder, like 6'5". Fucking Draymond Green, 6'5". The NBA is like 6'5 now, bro. All right, all right, all right, all right. I think Seth Lundy. He kind of reminds me of like the Max Christie pick. What team are we on right now? Lakers? Yeah. He's like a shooting guard. He's like Courtney Lee. Yeah, I'm cool with that. Clippers. Tracy Jackson Davis. I think sure. Yeah. They get the, the two the old. Plumley replacement, maybe? Yeah. Okay, we need a wing here. Julian Phillips for the Cavs. This would be an awesome Jalen Clark, Jalen Clark destination if he was still on the board. Yeah, um, I think this is definitely like the Neo Wings. Julian Phillips, a good one, or Hunter Tyson, Jordan Miller, Jordan Miller. So no. I wish uh, Lamar your boy Moore. Kevin McCuller. I wish Kevin McCuller was still in this draft. I know we just gave him the bag, probably in nil. <laughs> What do you think? I'm thinking Phillips or Tyson or Miller. Yeah, we can go Jordan Miller. All right, Thunder. I think we go Phillips. Uh, uh, mm, we took Nick Smith. Sonogo. Sonogo. They need a backup big. Sonogo, and he shoots threes. Yeah. All righty, Brooklyn. Amari Moore, Julian Phillips. I think Amari Moore is a good destination here. You? Jalen Pickett? I like Pickett more than Moore. We don't need a point guard, though. Why? We got... We kind of do. I like Wong more than Pickett, though. Mm -hmm. Me too. Jay-Z and Gortman. Yeah. I'm going, yeah, Jay-Z and... Okay. The Suns. Is it Kazalom? Isaiah Wong? Amari Moore? Julian Phillips? I think Amari Moore would be a good fit here. Yeah, fine with that. They could use the wing help. Actually, they could use a guard, but whatever. I don't like the Wong fit much. Isaiah Wong would be a fit here. Yep, agreed. All righty, here, what do we take? Vuk? I think here, Julian Phillips would be a good fit. Is he in the draft for sure? Is he in the draft? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he stayed. Let's go Mo Gay. Is he did he stay? 
Oh shit. Uh, I don't know. Uh, we can take Phillips just because I don't feel like researching it. Tyson's. Let's Dude, get they've someone. had so many picks. Best shooter we can find. Hunter Tyson. Besides him. The Hunter Tyson. He was a dog. I love that. Best him. shooter we can find of African American origin. Cut that. Oh, so you're racist. <laughs> Cut that. Uh, <laughs> I think it's Hunter Tyson right here. Dude, I just don't like him. Why? Because he's white? No, because he's soft. Shweebe? We already <laughs> took a big. That would be sweet. <laughs> um, I'll give you Jalen Pickett here. I kind of like that. Throw him on a two-way. Yeah, physical. I'm down. Memphis. Mike Miles? Yeah. Uh, this is forfeited, so we're just going to do a guy who's not in the draft. Let your lawyer. Beakman. He's not in the draft, right? Correct. Bulls love him, though. And yeah, but... For whatever reason, their director of strategy loves Reese Beekman. Really? Yeah. This guy is not going to drop. Okay, last two picks. Swoozy, the Bucks really like Mojave King. No. We're on the oh. Wizards, though. And the Wizards, we need a power forward or like a small forward. I'd take Hunter Tyson. We love them white boys. Wizards do us some cold white guys. <laughs> I, that's fine. Whatever. It, Fifty-nine pick. I, I kind of like. I, dude, I would rather have Leaky Black than Hunter Tyson on my team. Nah. We need three shooting. It's a three-point shooting league. He's a mediocre shooter. Bucks had some success with Marjan Bochamp. They bring in Mojave King. No. <laughs> I refuse. We have to come up with a better one here. They need someone who was like decent. <laughs> You don't like this? No. I say we do it. No. Why? Because I just said I want someone decent. With the last pick of the draft. Yeah. No, no. stone in turn. We need some shooting, bro. We need shooting really badly, actually. All right, dude, we're we're the last pick of the draft. Yeah, we're going to find a gem. We're not. It's Mojave King's the best potential here. It's Mojave King, bro. There's Give me no... Landers. Give me Landers. No way. <laughs> or we take Shuive. Ooh, on the off chance we lose Brooke Lopez? No, no, we cannot have Shikwe, dude. I say we fucking take Mojave King. He's the highest potential. Throw him on a two-way. This is a two-way guy. No. We're not going to sit here and fight over the last pick of the fucking draft. This is two-way. Did Terrence Shannon stay in the draft? No. He did not. Is there another onto the Kumpo brother we could draft? No. <laughs> um. Yeah, I'm. I'm saying we do the last pick, Mojave King. That's what about Serge? What about, what about Serge Ibari? Nah. I think Mojave King has the highest potential available. That's Dude, what I can't think. shoot. Yes, but we throw him on a two-way. And and that will help his shooting? Go through the G League. Earn his minutes. It's the last pick what of the draft. Dude, 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 there. They drafted there. the last three years. They got rid of their last. They've had the last pick in the draft for like two or three years in a row. Yorgios Kal Kalayakis was their pick. Okay. I think he played like two games for them and then finished it and played four games for the Thunder is now back in Europe. 
I'm going Mojave King. I also know they like him. Good draft. I am very proud of this draft. That was ostentatious. All right. That was basically it. That was a doozy. But I think we did all right time, I think. I think the Rockets are looking good. This Amen Thompson, Dariq Whitehead duo is just like, you know. No, I completely all... agree. It's a gamble, but the upside there is very intriguing. I agree. So I'm going to head out, dude. I'm starving. You? Yeah, I'm going to go and nurse my shoulder in this hot tub, I think. Ah, best of luck. Thank you. Is this our final draft until the big, until the big show a week from now? maybe i'll see you in a few days how right. i feel if i like, right. feel like if a massive trade happens then no all right i'm gonna send you my taylor hendrix scouting video i want it send it all right brother <laughs> peace take care